Hello, ma'am. How are you today? I'm fine. How right. about yourself? I'm doing great, thanks. So today we will do module seven, and we'll be learning about articles. Uh, so uh, when I say the word articles, what, which words do you think of when I say the word articles? You know what they are? It's uh, the, an, and a. Good. That's right. So those are the three articles. Now, it's interesting. These articles are very small words, very easy to spell, but a lot of people make mistakes with these words. Um, for a native speaker, we use articles all the time, ever since we were little kids, and we really don't think about them. They're really very easy for most native speakers because, uh, again, we just use them fluently. But I feel like for English learners, these can be really quite challenging. The, word, the rules are a little bit complicated. So even though the, the words are small, the rules are complex. Uh, so let's try it and uh, we'll see how we go here. Um, so like, to begin, like you said, the articles are a, an, and the. Now these articles are very important because they give us information about the noun. So as small as they are, they still give the reader or the listener information about what you're talking about here. So let's look at some examples. Uh, can you read the example sentence here? I want to buy a new sports car. Good. So this is just in general. It's not any specific sports car. It's just like, ah, I really want a sports car. So, um, you know, it's not any specific one. And so in this case, if it's non-specific and if it's singular, we use the article A. Uh, next, can you read the next one here? I want to buy the red sports car. Good. Now, the red sports car, now we're getting specific. So that's why we use the. So it's still a singular noun, car and car, but A is just any, any sports car. The, it's the red sports car right there. Um, it, here's another example. It's not written here, but you know, if I knocked on your door and I said, hello, I'm an English teacher. You might be like, oh, that, that's nice. I'm happy. You know, that means that that's my career. My career is, a, is an English teacher. But if I knock on your door and I say, hello, I'm the English teacher, that means I'm the English teacher that you were expecting to come and give you a lesson. So again, a very small difference in terms of the words that we use, but a very big difference in meaning. You know, if I just say, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm an English teacher, that's, I'm just telling you my career. But if I say I'm the English teacher, I'm the one that you uh, are expecting. Uh, so here's, uh, here's an example of a short conversation. Uh, I'll read the question, you read the answer. Okay. Uh, question, do you need a pencil? Yes, I can. Yes. Can I please borrow the sharpener, sharpened pencil you have? Sharpest. No? Sharpest. Sharpest. Uh -huh. Good. Yeah, so here, uh, why do we use the in the answer and uh in the question? Uh, the, I need like specific one that you have. Correct, that's right. Like when I ask you, like, do you have any pencil like for me to borrow, like any? Yeah, that's right. It could so be I, anyone, could be any, any pencil that you have. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, all right, so now let's look closely at A and N. Uh, so uh, this is a pretty commonly taught rule. So when do we use, uh, do you know, of, before we look at it, do you know when do we use a uh, and when do we use M? Uh, we use A for like any words that not like start with like A-E-I-O-U. When like the word start with A-I-O-U, we use N. For example, like N orange. Good. And, uh, and apple, W N. Yeah, that's right. So A, A, E, I, O, U, those are called vowels. And then, so we use N before a vowel and we use a before a consonant, except just like most rules in English, there are exceptions to the rule or there's times in which the rule doesn't apply. So uh, look at these examples here. Uh, can you read these two sentences? I'll be finished in an hour. 
She is riding a horse. So here, in both cases, the, the letter after the article is an H, but so why did we use N in the first sentence and a uh in the second sentence? Uh, I think because the sound, like O, oh, the sound. That's why we use N. That's right. That's exactly right. So we use, uh, so, so it's not about the letter, it's about the sound. So if it's a vowel sound, then we use N and uh, you know, so you know, our you know, we don't really pronounce the H in the word hour. We don't say in an in a hour, like the same way we use the H sound in horse. So we don't say hour. We say hour. So we use N. Same thing with the final sentence. Can you read this one? After graduation, I will be an uh, MD. MD. That's right. So even though this is just the letter, the letter M, but if we sound the sound of the letter M is sort of like E M, mm -hmm. you know, so that's sort of a, a, a vowel sound after the article. So we would use N M D. Okay. Now let's look at this next set of examples. We can see uh, the use of a, the end, no article. So this is a, an additional twist here. So we don't always put an article in front of the noun. Sometimes the noun will have a, sometimes the noun will have the, and sometimes no article. So let's read these examples, please. Start with the first set of three. Uh, I need to buy a carton of milk. The milk is very expensive. I need to buy milk. Okay, so, uh, so a carton of milk is just any carton of milk. Uh, so, that, so it's not specific, so that's why we'd use a. Why do we use the in the second sentence? The milk means like that specific milk is very expensive, like the yeah, one that you need. That's right. So I'm not saying all milk is expensive. You know, it's not expensive everywhere, but the milk at that store, oh, the, the milk is very expensive. Um, and then uh, look at the third sentence. There's no article before milk. Why is that, do you think? Because she or he doesn't want uh, to buy the milk yet. And she doesn't know which milk she's she, she going to buy. She's just like, I need to buy milk. But she doesn't know which one she uh, would buy. Uh, not exactly, but you're, you're on the right track. The answer is, so it's, uh, you're right that it's non-specific, And then it's also uh, uncountable. So like if I say, um, Let's see. So I could say, oh, you know, please pass me uh, the rice. Um, so that, that specific rice over there, I would like you to pass it to me. But then I could say, oh, I like to eat rice. So rice is uncountable. So I would just say, oh, I, I, I cannot say, oh, I like to eat the rice. And that, that's not, that doesn't make sense. So that would be incorrect. So for an uncountable noun, that's also you know, non-specific, then we have no article. Let's, let's.